At CanArm, we manufacture many of our blower wheels in-house. The machine we are looking at today, our automated wheel room, creates our forward curve blower wheels that are used in our inline duct fans, roof exhaust fans, and makeup air units. The process starts with a coil of galvanized steel being fed into a machine to be flattened. The galvanile, or satin coat as it's sometimes referred to as, is a carbon steel coated with zinc through a hot dipped process. The steel is then annealed which converts the zinc into a zinc alloy coating that offers increased corrosion and scratch resistance. From here, the sheet of flattened galvanile goes through a progressive stamping die. The stamping die cuts and forms the blades of the wheel through multiple stages. Once two sheets have been stamped, they are layered on top of each other to increase overall strength and spot welded together. From here, the spot welded sheet is lifted to the next station where the sheet is rolled into a wheel cage with the desired diameter. The roll ends are interlocked and spot welded together. The wheel cage is then passed to the next stage where the ends are beaded. This ensures that the wheel cage is concentric or perfectly round with an even width throughout and locks the outer edges together. This completes the first process of the wheel fabrication. The second involves creating the center discs. First, the robotic arm picks up a hub from the hub hopper and fits it onto the staker. The robot then grabs a sheet of galvanile from the disc hopper, which has been cut and stamped elsewhere in the plant, and stakes the hub onto the sheet after making sure it has picked it up at its center. The robot then moves the sheet with the hub to the notcher. Here, the correct number of teeth are cut into the sheet at the proper diameter for the wheel size being made. When the notcher is finished, the robot arm picks up the disc and sends it to the operator. With the wheel cage and center discs complete, the wheel can now be built. The operator places the center disc on a post and fits the wheel over it, snapping the disc in place. Depending on the type of wheel being made, another disc may be inserted on the other side of the wheel. The wheel is then placed onto the disc press where the discs are centered and locked onto it. The final step is to balance the wheel. The wheel is spun on a machine which ensures it runs smoothly at high speeds. If necessary, the operator makes some minor adjustments before testing it again. Once balanced, the wheel is complete and ready to be placed into stock.